Hi friends and welcome to or welcome back to Yoga Born YouTube. And Yoga Born YouTube offers a selection of holistic yoga and well-being practices completely free of charge where we hope there's something that everybody can enjoy. And today's practice is Restful Reads. Restful Reads is a practice designed to allow you to fit it into your day or your evening. It's a short practice where you can press pause, take a couple of deep breaths and have a few moments rest. So the practices are anything from a minute up to a maximum of five minutes usually. And today's reading is from the Almanac by Leoline Dirtz, a book that I'm very fond of. There's quite a few readings either already on the YouTube channel or will be coming up over the next year. And as it was St. Vincent's Day on the 22nd of January, which is yesterday, according to when I'm recording this, this is a little reading about garden and weather folklore. January has long been considered a month that holds prophecies for the year ahead. And this is reflected in several bits of January weather law, in which particular days are supposed to set the tone for the whole year's weather. The feast day of St. Vincent, patron saint of vintners and vinegar maker, on the 22nd of January is one such day. Remember on St. Vincent's day, if the sun his beams display, Tis a token bright and clear of prosperous weather all the year. If that fails, we can pin our hopes on St. Paul the Apostle's Day on the 25th of January. Great store was apparently once set on it, not only for the forecast of the year's weather and its corresponding effect on the price of grain, but for darker prognostications. If St. Paul's Day be fair and clear, it does betide a happy year. But if it chance to snow or rain, then will be dear all kind of grain. If clouds or mists do dark the sky, great store of birds and beasts shall die. And if the winds do fly aloft, then war shall vex the kingdom oft. So that's just a short snippet from January in the Almanac. A book that I highly recommend if you are interested in a season, seasonal cycle, cyclical living, and such like. I hope you enjoyed that little snippet. I hope you found time to pause, breathe and rest. Take good care of yourself. Until next time, bye for now.